Do you want to know how to get subtitles working on your QuickTime player, QuickLook, TV app on your Mac and even on your iPhone? Well, you're at the right place. Now before we start with the video, we made a video recently about some iOS bugs. You can check the video in the cards above. Also if you are new, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button if you find this video helpful. Having said that, let me tell you. Now let's start with the tutorial and let me show you how to get subtitles for QuickTime Player. First of all you need three basic things. You need your movie, you need subtitles for your movies and you need an app named Subler. To download Subler, simply go to subler.org and there you'll see the button for downloading it. Simply click on the button and you'll have Subler downloaded onto your machine. Once Subler is downloaded, double click on the zip file to extract the application out of it. There you have it. Now you have the Subler app here. You can simply double click it to open it. Unfortunately, it does not have a user interface like a welcome screen. First time when you open this app, you definitely need to allow permissions. Simply allow open. Drag your movie. Select open. Now you see your video track and also your soundtrack. And as you can see, there is no subtitles file. Now move your subtitles. Once done, you don't need to do anything else. All you need to do is save. You can save by pressing the shortcut on your keyboard, which is command and S. Or you can go into the menu bar, click file and then click save. That is all that you need to do. Now, simply close this file. And once now you open your movie in quick look, let me just bring its volume down. And now you can see that you have the subtitles here. Now, once you open this movie with QuickTime Player, You'll see that now you have subtitles here as well. You can add multiple language subtitles here as well. You can see the subtitles are working perfectly here. Now you can definitely install some other software such as VLC and watch your movies there with subtitles. But there are two advantages of using QuickTime Player and this method. Number one, now your movie, once you open it with QuickTime Player or even in your iMovie app, you can play this movie in picture in picture mode and it would to work with subtitles. Let me show you. So I have turned this volume down. Now you can see that subtitles are working and when it's in picture in picture mode, subtitles still work. Not only that, once you sync this movie via your TV app with your iPhone, these subtitles will work on your iPhone as well. Now this is something that I personally have enjoyed a lot that now I can enjoy my movies with subtitles on my iPhone. That is all for today. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Stay home, stay safe. Until next time, over and out.